Ladies and gents and everybody else, welcome back to Chilled Guitar Reviews. This is a little bonus video for you guys that I'm doing this week because a guitar has just landed with me that I am extremely interested to review. So I thought I would do an unboxing video since we haven't done one of those in a little while. We are gonna unpack the brand new Ford 2023 Jackson Pro Plus Soloist which is a highly interesting guitar due to two things. Number one, its price. Number two, where it's made. Oh, it's exciting. I do like a Jackson. Maybe it's the old new metal kid in me, but just a legendary metal guitar brand, not they? Nice looking gig bag. Is to be tin foil around the headstock, so might make a nice hat for some of you conspiracy theorists out there. Ooh, that is a seriously blue guitar. <laughs> Check that out. Ooh. Oh, it's like a. Uh, I thought this was a, a flat kind of solid blue, but it's actually metallic. There's like a metallic flake in it. Oh, it looks really cool. Nice matching blue headstock as well. I've just realized I called this a uh, soloist, but it isn't. This is a DKA, so this is a, a dinky. So I beg your pardon. This is the Jackson Pro Plus DKA. Now, the reason this is such an interesting guitar for me to review is because it's something Jackson have never done before. It's two things. It's a thousand pounds and it's made in China. So, Rest assured, I will be assessing the build quality of this guitar in excruciating detail for you guys, because I know how a lot of you feel about Chinese made stuff, especially at this price point. Just initially going over how things feel and look. Frets are on the sharp side. I mean, they're not gonna catch on your hand or cut your hand or nothing, but they are they are sitting just proud enough of the fingerboard that you're gonna Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna feel them. You're definitely gonna feel them. Um, these are jumbo stainless steel, so it's in tune. Floyd Rose guitar that arrives in tune, wow. Nice setup, really good factory setup, really low action. I don't know if the retailer's done a setup on this, but it's awesome. Feels great. Cool. You can tell these are stainless steel frets that haven't been polished enough. Can you hear that? Listen. Yeah. This is my issue with stainless steel frets on, shall we say, less than well-made guitars. They tend to show up feeling like sandpaper and stainless steel frets have such a long breaking period that you're gonna have to do some sort of polishing job on there because, yeah, the 12th fret, 12th fret, 5th fret, yeah, it's like kind of sandpaper quality, they're uh, rough. So, just inspecting paintwork, pickup cavities, yeah, these are, less than great pickup cavities. They are wonky, they have rough paint finish, paint chips. One of them actually looks like they've been touched up at the factory. The Floyd Rose cavity, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the same. <laughs> there's, a, there's a paint chip on the Floyd Rose cavity that's clearly been touched up uh, at the factory but uh, without lacquer or something, because it's really obvious. Pots feel okay. Five-way toggle. Five-way toggle feels fine, but there is a chip out of the, the plastic toggle switch. It's not great, really, on a brand new thousand pound guitar. There is paint chips on the recesses for the neck bolts. Um, I mean, this has a April 2023 serial number, this guitar. So it's been manufactured this year. 
and I would say just on first impressions, at the very least, this should be a B-stock. I've actually bought and I've played B-stocks from Live Louder recently that are in far better shape um, finishing wise and QC wise than this. First impressions are feels great, paint beautiful. This is such a good color. Imagine a flying V in this color. Oh, yes, seven string as well. Reverse headstock, that's what I'm talking about. Um, feels really nice, set up fantastic. I can already see some pretty bad quality and finishing issues with this guitar. Rest assured there will be a full chilled review coming on this guitar. What do you guys think about what you've seen so far? Let me know in the comments section below and stay tuned for the full chill review coming very soon. Thank <laughs> you.